Welcome back to this uh, module on introduction to optimal decision making and we will now look into cost sensitive classification and what it is. Then cost sensitive classification provides a framework to make optimal decisions uh, given certain assumptions that we will uh, discuss here. Then they can make optimal decisions if we have access to the true posterior probabilities for each of the possible outcomes. But in most of the cases, we will basically use uh, estimates uh, out of uh, probabilistic uh, classification models. Then one of the assumptions is that the costs are not instant dependent, and they only depend on the true uh, class, basically and the predicted class and uh, an, uh, a good thing of this uh, framework is that the class priors can change between the training and the deployment and similarly for the costs uh, can change this uh, may be useful if we actually define what are the costs uh, for example during the training we uh, are asked for a, by a company to create a model and they are not sure what are the co consequences or the cost of making certain wrong predictions but we still can provide a model and then during the deployment the cost can change uh, over time and we can adjust uh, the thresholds or what is the optimal decision given those changes as well and the same uh, with the class priors if during the training we have uniform priors for every single class but then we deploy the model and during the deployment we actually know that there are more uh, there is an abundance of a particular class then it is possible then to adjust uh, how to make the final decisions uh, in, that, in that context. No? Then let's start with the, what are the cost matrices uh, and we will look at a binary example. Uh, basically, a uh, cost matrix is encoding what are the cost of making each of the predictions given the true class. Basically, in this uh, is one of the most uh, common uh, cost matrices is if we predict class 2 and the class 1 is the true one, then we incur into a cost of 1, and the same if we predict class 1 and the true class is class 2, then we have a cost of 1. In this particular matrix, we don't have any cost if we make a right prediction. We will use uh, the nomenclature C uh, underscore uh, Y given j denoting what is the cost of predicting class y given that the true class is class j then if we have the posterior probabilities for each of the uh, possible classes and we have access to this uh, cost matrix then we can actually calculate what is the expected cost of making a prediction of, of one particular class then in this uh, case if we look at class y then it's basically uh, kind of marginalizing over all the possible uh, outcomes basically uh, we have here all the possible posterior probabilities for each of the classes that will weight uh, each of the costs uh, from the previous cost matrix of, of making the prediction Y given that the true class is J. Then let's assume for example that we are giving an instance and our model outputs a probability 0, 4, 0, 6 in the previous, uh, and the, with the previous cost matrix. Basically, in order to calculate the, what is the expected cost of predicting class 1, as I said, we multiply the posterior probability of, of class 1, which is 0 0.4, and what is the cost uh, of, of predicting that one if the true class is 1, and what is the cost of uh, the probability of class 2 times the cost that the 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 the, cla the true class is, uh, is class 2 basically and then we can do the same for class 2 
but in this case the, the order changes and then we come up with these two costs basically uh, the smaller cost is 0.4 which means that we should predict class 2 and this is quite common uh, in a co is a quite common scenario because the cosmetic that we have seen in the, in the previous slide is uh, is the m one of the most common ones if for example we are training uh, to optimize accuracy and we will select the class that has the highest uh, probability in this case but this is not always the case it depends on the costs then let's look at the figure uh, uh, with the cost lines then we will represent uh, one line for each of the predicted class uh, and all the possible uh, misclassification costs then for the previous uh, cost matrix that we have seen we have this figure in which uh, on the x-axis we have the posterior probability of class 1 given x and let's assume that this is the true one and in, on the y-axis we have the expected costs then let's look at here on this uh, uh, corner basically the posterior probability of class 1 is 1 meaning that yeah in this region here we are certain that it's actually class 1 then if we actually select uh, predict class 1 we'll have an error of 0 if we predict class 2, we will have a, a cost of 1 given the previous matrix. Then all of this is the full uh, cost line and we can see that the minimum cost between predicting uh, class uh, 1 or class 2 is always the lower uh, envelope. Uh, in this case uh, the threshold, the optimal threshold on when to select one to to classify for one class or the other is 0 0.5. Then what are some reasonable conditions for the cost matrices that we will do when doing all these uh, type of, of uh, analysis? Uh, we will usually have two uh, conditions. One is that for a given class, J, the correct prediction has always a lower cost than an incorrect prediction. Then this is uh, reasonable uh, and it's the case uh, of the matrix that we have seen before. And class do uh, is domination. This is domination. Class domination is one class does not consistently have lower cost than other classes because if one class has consistently lower cost than the other ones for every single, every possible outcome, then we will always select that class. Then this is an example of a, cl uh, a class uh, domination in which uh, pre predicting class one it's always lower than predicting class 2, as we can see here. They independently on the true class. Then this is reflected on the cost line figure in which uh, predicting class 1, which is the, the blue line, it's always below the cost of predicting class 2. <laughs> 